The true gas is a critical energy source, but its quality is affected by CO2 contamination, contributing to greenhouse gas emission. Traditional removal methods using aqueous amine like MDA are effective but energy intensive. This study explores a hybrid solution combining MDA with the ionic liquid TBPLEP, which offers lower regeneration energy and potential efficiency gains. Our goal is to compare this hybrid solvent with traditional MDA, focusing on CO2 capture performance and energy savings, contributing to the investment of more sustainable natural gas processing technologies. CO2 capture from natural gas typically occurs during post-combustion processes using aqueous amine solutions as absorbents and a significant, a significant drawback of commercial amine-based solvents in scrubbing technology is their high regeneration energy requirement and to address this issue, ionic liquids have been introduced as an alternative for CO2 absorption due to their lower heat capacity. However, ionic liquids are generally more expensive and viscous than traditional chemical solvents. Hybrid solvents are composed of two or more components such as ionic liquids, organic solvents and also water. It combines the properties of the different solvents to enhance performance for specific applications such as CO2 capture. Amine solvents require significant energy for regeneration, is volatile, corrosive and has limited CO2 absorption capacity. Ionic liquid has high viscosity, is more expensive and has limited scalability. Therefore, we choose to do hybrid solvents which enhance CO2 capture efficiency, increase CO2 absorption capacity, has reduced viscosity and also improved thermal stability. Moving on to the design of hybrid solvent, MDA TPP LEV hybrid solvent was designed based on the screening study conducted by Cosmo RS where the ionic liquid was found to be soluble both in water and aqueous MDA solution. Both the cation and anion plays a crucial role in capturing carbon dioxide due to its cyclic structure as well as lower Henry's constant. Not only that, the advantages of using phosphonium-based ionic liquid are more thermally stable, less costly, low toxicity, as well as high commercial capability. In this specific heat capacity analysis, we compared three solvents, pure TBP-LEV, MDA TBP-LEV hybrid, and pure aqueous MDA. The specific heat capacities were 2.82 joule per gram per degree Celsius for TBP-LEV, 3 for the hybrid, and 3.66 for MDA. Using the formula Q equal to MCP delta T, with M set at 0.15 liters per minute, and the temperature change at 70 degrees Celsius, the calculated heat regeneration energies were 1777 kilojoule per hour for TBP-LEV, 1890 for the hybrid, and 2306 for MDA. This result shows that the hybrid solvent offers a balance between the lower heat capacity and energy savings of TBP LEV and the strong CO2 absorption capacity of MDA, making it a more energy efficient solution for CO2 capture. From our ANOVA table, we have obtained final equation which is as stated. For our quadratic model, the F value is 413.57, the P value is less than 0.0001, which shows that our model is significant with a low probability of error. For our lack of fit, the P value is 0.0501, which shows that the lack of fit is not significant. For our model terms, the concentration of MDE, pressure and temperature are significant, while the concentration of ionic liquid is not significant. So the table shows the optimized parameter values to achieve the maximum CO2 solubility in an aqueous MDA TPP LV hybrid solvent. So according to the model generated by RSM, uh, the proposed maximum CO2 absorption in the hybrid solvent under optimum conditions was 15.080 uh, mmol per gram. However, this value is higher compared to the CO2 solubility when using 50% 50% MDA and 28% TPP LV uh, in the hybrid solvent at a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 30 bar where the CO2 solubility was found to be 14.4569 mm. This project has a lot of benefits in terms of uh, economy where, we'll, where it will create a lot of job opportunities and then a proper technological advancement which will lead to economic growth in terms of uh, social decrease health issues uh, and then we will improve our educational curricula by implementing the CO2 removal into our syllabus. And in terms of environment, we'll have a cleaner and efficient uh, industrial uh, technologies and also reduces the carbon footprint of industries that will impact aquatic environments. Moving on to cost consideration, based on a literature study conducted, the operating cost of hybrid solvent is lower than MEA solution by 15.55% due to the reduced team cost even though hybrid solvent has a higher capital cost. It has been studied that the increase in concentration of ionic liquid in the hybrid solvent can cause the heat capacity to reduce. Based on the study conducted by us, the cost of energy consumption by the hybrid solvent is lower than MDA by 434 ringgit and 35 cent due to the lower energy consumption by the reboiler, therefore proving our hybrid solvent is highly commercial since it is able to reduce the energy penalty. That's all from us, thank you.